excuse you? This is a failed appointment, and you want to go open another appointment? Why do you know? Do you okay? Can't know an appointment inside. Excuse you? No, excuse you. Answer the what question. is? What is? It, come over to talk. Come over. Just come over. I'm doing a. Uh, I'm gonna do another Q and A at City Hall. Oh, okay, I'll be by in a bit then. Is that allowed? I, I can do yes. that, right? Okay. Yep. All right. Cool. I'll see you soon. All right. Bye. You know. Hi. I would like to know what would be the benefit for the city of having a sheriff's office? My vision for the sheriff's office for the last five months has been treating it as a forward operating base, right? So mm -hmm. if you have something happen up in Polito, up in Sandy, up in Grapeseed, you know, Hunting Lodge, whatever it is, then what ends up happening is you have to get there. And then if somebody gets arrested, you have to bring them back down to the city. And then if you want to go mm -hmm. back up to patrol, then what ends up happening, you end up spending a lot of time restocking, processing, doing all these different kinds of things or sorry traveling in order to do those things so you lose a lot a lot a lot a lot of time so you're able to cover more ground with less units by having a additional office that you can work out of uh you over there sir so historically what you basically just said is just not true historically even when there are people in the sheriff's department the sheriffs are still in the city more often than they're up north Okay, so did you listen at all to what I just said? Oh, I did, but it's a lot of baffling. No, you didn't listen at all to what you I just said. People, you basically just want to open a processing station that you're in charge of in a department you're in charge of. Sir. But what have you done in the LSPD to prove that you're ready to run an appointment? What have I other done? Than, I've spent more out. Other than be one of the main pillars of this department that built up the LSPD, which has failed notoriously throughout the past few months. Ex excuse you? This is a failed department, and you want to go open another department. Why do you know? Do you, okay. Do you know okay. Inside? Excuse you? No, excuse you. Answer the what is what is my role in the LSPD? So, Ethan, I'll let you know. One, I'm not high command. Two, I'm not command. Three, I was almost fired because I spoke out against the command months ago. I was suspended, and at the last second, I ended up not getting fired. So, the reason why I'm in such strong favor of the BCSO is because I don't want LSPD North. I want a sheriff's office. I want to develop a department, build an office full of high-character individuals with a good moral compass who are able to get the job done. You can say whatever you want to say, and you can talk however you want to talk, say historically this and that, talking about something that has nothing to do with the question that I just answered, but quite frankly, it ain't true. And something that you want to claim, I have nothing to do with. And that's why I should be sheriff, is because if I had something to do with it, yes, I do think we'd be in a better position. So you agree that the LSPD right now is failing, the department you work for, and one of the departments you were one of the main pillars when that first opened? I was hired after the opening. That is... Who Who do you think I am? I'm not said you were hired before it opened. No, no, no. Yeah, you, you literally... No, you life. literally just said when it opened. Who do you think I am? What do you think I do? You are... Well, I guess an officer. Loose terms on that one. Okay, what are the loose terms? It's a failed department. I don't consider really any of you really... Okay, so officer. all I know about this is you know what three words are. Can you tell me what a failed department is? Why is the LSPD a failed department? How many arrests do you guys do? How many arrests? Yeah. Oh, well, I'll tell you. Uh, I am the quota points leader in the LSPD actually over the you course know, of the last three times for departments to begin with why it doesn't encourage quotas quotas don't encourage good police work they encourage stacking numbers that's not do you know how the quota works or are you gonna make up shit because that's what it sounds like quota. to me because i'll tell you how the quota system works y'all the quota system is a point system that de is derived on one charge the highest charge that is placed on an incident not only that but if that charge is dropped in negotiations let's say you're doing processing you're working with a lawyer dropping a charge you still get those quota points so if you're letting a lawyer do his job and you're actually able to go out there and uh, have a good communication at the end of the day you stop that crime and that's why those quota points were granted so no oh, it actually has nothing to do with stacking charges system? and on top of that you don't and you add anything up system having a pd so that's how i slack wait wait wait, wait, wait. look up water wait, wait wait everyone right now real quick let's take a quick moment look up e-e-t-h-a-n on twitter this no, guy is a dick rider for bones that's why he's being like this Go no, ahead, take a look at Twatter. No, look at Twatter. Oh, a new Bones poster. You are a yeah, I mean, writer, my friend. I'm going to be yeah, honest. Really you're the probably Bones. the worst thing for Bones' campaign because I think you've just made yourself look like an idiot in front of everybody Not here. Really. You're I'm a plant. Campaign, no, you absolutely. You're a literal plant here. You are a plant. Yeah, no, absolutely, because I have an answer for everything you say. Go ahead. I got, I'm got. i ready to answer more questions. I asked you if you think the quota is a good system. I just, I just told you. I think the quota system is something that I disagreed with initially. However, it's turned out to be something that was very very good for the PD and was able to justify being able to give pay raises to the police officers for actually going out there and doing police work. So even though it was something I disagreed with because I didn't fully understand the cause and effect of what was going to happen, uh, I was proven wrong and uh, it brought the PD together and it uh, gave everybody a reason to, to kind of gave everybody a story to follow and was able to justify better pay for the PD. So, Mr. Ethan. Yeah, say what you want. 
I mean, you can say what you want about Bones over here, and I think Bones is a I'm damn not good cool officer. About him at all. Well, no, I mean, I, that's not what we're seeing on Twitter. It's on Twitter. Yeah, I mean, just pull it up. Your town hall meeting? No. I'm going to go ahead and tell you this much, sir. You want to talk about not being a politician, not being a realist? Look, I, I ain't setting up no, no, I'm, I ain't going into anybody else's damn meetings and making up bullshit, okay? So Sergeant Bones, who is a part he? of command in the LSPD, by the way, this failed department that you're trying to talk about, it ain't, it ain't that simple. It don't ever come down to one person, all right? So I would have to ask you a favor of me and stop slandering my friend, Jeffrey Bones, okay? Making him look like a dadgum moron in front of everybody here, and I'm going to go ahead and ask you to leave, sir. Not slandering him either, and I'm allowed to be here. It's a public. Uh, oh, you are allowed to be here, but I'm going to ask you to stop talking, right? Because it's looking pretty uh, bad. No, and I and I and I'd appreciate you not you doing that answer. to my friend. Yeah, okay. Thank you. It's okay. Next question. Your plan for the drug epidemic. Look, uh, marijuana has been destroying this city. It has absolutely demolished the economy in this city for weeks now. Uh, it has been bad. smoke some, damn it. Well, here, I mean, look, as far as that goes, I mean, I think we could be a little bit harder on drug sales, but I'll go ahead and tell you what my primary focus is. Locals are crackheads, okay? I think everybody here knows that locals are dadgum crackheads, okay? They barely even have rights. However. What are you talking about? They don't have rights. Well, barely. They're, they still have some, but technically that don't have most rights. They have the right to be ran the fuck over. Well, anyway, my primary purpose whenever I do policing, I want to focus on perpetrators victimizing people. If I'm getting a 911 call, hey, officer, help, I'm getting chased. Officer, my friend just got kidnapped. You know, my friend just got stabbed. Whatever it is, right? These are things that have to have a response. Bare minimum, it gets a text response, but ideally you're getting a phone call, right? People want to feel protected by the police. And that is our job. I don't want nobody being felt like they're being treated like a local. That's some horse shit. Next question. How many of these uh, investigations have yielded results from the, the hundreds of, not maybe even thousands of G6 workers who've been robbed, shot, and sanitation, and sanitation too? So I personally push for, for a certain initiative. The best th thing that we could do, we know those vault drop-offs are going off. Let's send some Let's send some police presence. The lowest level of force there is, is presence, right? But sometimes us just being there stops people from committing a crime. And that goes a long way. Uh, next question. Uh, I got a question. I just can't raise my hand with the camera. Okay. Go ahead. Uh, earlier on Twitter, you, I believe, said something, and correct me if I'm wrong, but along the lines of waiting until tomorrow for a potential update on EMS pay. Could you just confirm whether you are advocating with your position for an increase in EMS and doctor pay? Yeah, for those of y'all who don't know, I am the PD liaison. You can watch the recording. Uh, Ursula came in and she recorded last meetings. Uh, I've advocated on multiple multiple occasions for EMS and doctor pay. EMS, I currently, I think they're currently making a thousand dollars an hour, up from the two fifty I believe they were making a couple weeks ago, which uh, I was advocating for and I was pushing for. This is what I do, okay? And some people don't like it. Some people call it overstepping. I call it doing right by people. And uh, I've gone, I've met with several EMS, and uh, you know, including uh, Happy is the chief. Of EMS and you know, I've had a lot of conversation with them and trying to help them as much as possible and uh, that way I could support Dr. Kenner and her position on the board as healthcare liaison. I need them to do to do my job. The, the least I can do is make sure they're supported and they're treated right. Got it. Thank you for answering my question. I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, next question again. What's your plan for, for numbers? Because like I've, I've been I've, I've talked to cops and it's there's I, the one common thing I hear lately is just, there's, there's not enough people around. Not enough officers around. How do you plan to change that? And is it, are we going to spread the already low numbered PD thin between the entire state? Or what's, yeah. what's the plan for numbers in the police department? Well, well kind of going back to the original, uh, the, the first question that we had, the low amount of numbers gets addressed by reducing the downtime that we have. If we have reduced downtime by not having to travel as much to be able to restock, process, and do all that, we're able to cover more ground in less amount of time. That way, each unit is more effective. Effective, uh, by having a stronger base of operations. The current plan for the sheriff's office is that we're going to be opening up the Little Alamo and uh, alongside it, I do want to open up the, the hospital system over there, the Little Alamo Medical Plaza, and uh, I want to have that joined with the sheriff's office, uh, physically joined. I mean, it already is attached, but there's a wall in between. We're going to break down that wall, and I want to have a community up there. I'm very community-centric, right? I'm big on community policing. I want to be able to have the people working in the hospital. Since we work hand-in-hand -hand out on the field, We, I would love for us to be able to work hand-in-hand -in, -hand in the building as well. I think it's very important. That way people, doctors, EMS, can be able to work with everybody who's there. Uh, that's big time to me. So I think that will help fix all of those problems. In addition to that, we'll have two 
two two departments being able to recruit. I have uh, I have a whole rework of our PNT, like our entire FTO process and whatnot. How how I'd revamp our entire FTO system. But I guess I have a question for y'all at this point. What what do what do y'all want to see from the sheriff's office? Like what do you want out of your sheriff? Because that's the thing. It's I, I ain't just gonna be the sheriff of the sheriff's office. I mean this is this is an elected position. I mean, it's kind of a loaded question. So I, I mean I don't I don't blame you if you don't have an answer right off the rip. Hey, I'll say that's huge. You're asking for suggestions. Yeah, hell, I appreciate it. Uh, I was just wondering if, uh, as sheriff, you would get uh, PD Toe up and running. Yeah, actually, so this is something that I, I had a chance to talk to the state about this not too long ago. Uh, we have a new tow system that's been put in, and uh, we can actually request tows from specific people. This is a derivative of a system that I actually came up with. They came up with something even better. So we can actually go and we can quest tows from people directly. So uh, if you have a good relationship with certain people, you're actually able to do that. Okay, thank you. Uh, have you decided on any under sheriff at this point? I have some ideas, but I, I don't want to appoint a leader. I want somebody to show me that they're an under sheriff, if that makes sense. Uh, I do plan on having an under sheriff or uh, a couple of captains probably, but I don't want to go and just hand somebody rank. I don't want to hand somebody a position. I want someone to show me that that's who they are. Gotcha. Thank you. Does that mean you feel that nobody's shown you that yet? Like I said, I have some ideas. There's a combination of a couple of things. If I want to take somebody who's currently higher up in the chain of command in the LSPD, I think it's unwise to just try and uproot them without uh, a little bit of deliberation there uh, with the LSPD and making sure that if we remove somebody who's higher up in the chain of command, they have a proper replacement ready to go and it's transitioned uh, seamlessly. So it's not that there ain't nobody. It's just that I need to be able to pick the right guy for the right reason. And I have... Uh, I, I have a few people that I've thought of. I just don't want to go up and remove them without things being said and done, if that makes sense. Okay, thanks. Uh, Andy Jones. Um, do you have any plans for how, you said that you're very, very community driven. Um, do you have any plans for how you would like your office to do community outreach on a civilian level? Absolutely. Outside of your duties as police officers, I guess? Absolutely. I mean, obviously, this is something that's outside of the scope of being a sheriff. You know, on my own accord, I've, I've been asking the real estate company, seeing if they could open up some of those buildings and, and hell. Look, Sandy is, uh, and really that entire little Texas area, right, with grapeseed and Sandy and all that, a lot of people really love that area, right, leading up into Polito even. If we had more support there, I mean, there's a lot of condemned houses you know, just beat up trailers. Why don't we just level that shit? You know, build ourselves a nice, like, country strip mall, right? Ha bring businesses up north. Be able to have more properties out there so people can work. Be able to establish that strong community that is already there. I mean, shit, I was up there with Barrick. This is a, maybe three, four months ago. And I was like, imagine ha having, like, a damn community barbecue on top of the building right here. You know, just stuff like that would be, I think, would be great. Because it's right there smack dab in the middle of the middle of the town. Mm -hmm. I mean, hell, imagine okay. we get a steakhouse up there and, you know, be able to cater. And I think it'd be great. All right, thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah. How many 911 reports have you been involved in in the last 48 hours? Well, unfortunately, I've, I haven't been around too much in the last 48 hours. I can answer that question for you. Two. How many has Jeffrey? Um. The answer is zero. Oh, okay. Well, hell. If you're on, if you're the sheriff, you won't be on the council anymore, right? Uh, I don't know exactly how that's gonna work out. That's a that's a bridge we cross mm -hmm. when we get there. Okay. I mean, I could step down if I feel like it's too much or something, which is which is totally plausible. It could be a lot. Of, I mean, it probably would be a lot of work. Yeah, maybe. I'm just wondering because you know you're saying you're advocating for X Y Z. If you're not there to advocate for for these things, then I don't know. That's not, I guess that's an entirely different issue, though. I don't really know, but but I'll tell you I'll tell you as much. If it's something that's that's plausible and doable, uh, I've done a hell of a lot in in two weeks, and I think me being involved can uh, can go a long way. Thanks for doing this yesterday and again today. You know what I mean? Um, you clearly care. Yeah, no, absolutely. So uh, I'm glad I get a chance to talk with y'all. I'm always available. So if y'all ever want to come find me, talk to me, and y'all ever have questions or ideas, just let me know. I'm uh, I I'm right there, and I'm, I'm there for y'all as much as I can be. Thank you, Conway. Yeah, absolutely. Thank y'all. Thank y'all for coming.